This is a Rubik's Cube. You might have heard of it. It's only the third most sold toy in the world. So let's try to build a Rubik's Cube piston door, guys. So this is the front side of the door. And this is the white side. It's like it's gonna move around. So I'm thinking we could add like a feed tape here and then it would be pushed around like that. So this would be like the closed side. And then when it opens, this would come up, go on the white side and then it'd open. Yeah. So th that would be pushed up. So this would work when the feed tape is going. It would brought down and then the feed tape would go. And then this would basically just be swapped with that. And then at the end of it, that would go up. And then flying machines will push this across. I guess we should try to build the flying machines, right? Four, and then, um, how am I gonna do this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I could maybe have pistons like that and then having a system over down there with the flying machine attached to this with observers powering those. So that's 9, 11. I'm gonna need that there. And then there'll be a flying machine right here. So that'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah. Okay. This should work. And then I'm gonna want to put an obsidian right there. And then let's take a trap door. Oh. Whoops. <laughs> that was all wrong. I did that wrong. Okay. That happens. And then... Okay, that works. And then we'll have to push these back. But I'm just gonna worry about this right now. Whoops. Okay, let's take some orange wool. Let's just replace these with orange thingies. Yeah. Oh, why did that not go? Oh, yeah. This is all going very strange. <laughs> oh, okay. This just got pushed forward. Okay, what's happening? Oh, okay. That makes sense now. Okay, let's see if this works. And then let's take some, uh, let's take some pink terracotta. And then right here, that will be a, an observer. Cool. That also is pretty satisfying. Oh, it like barely fits in there. Look at how satisfying this is. Nice. Okay. So now we're just going to need the, uh, systems to make these get pushed. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So these should all be able to get pushed. And then in here, there will be a, uh, let's make this purple. There will be a purple circuit that allows this to be pushed forward. So two ticks and then another two ticks. Okay, so one tick. I mean, yeah. Cool, so let's test this out. Let's see how that works. Nice, that, this works really well. <laughs> dang, like dang, this is awesome. <laughs> Look at that. So those will be pushed down and this will be the walkway after everything is done. Also, should this be just a wall here? Yeah, probably. Because if this is over here, even if it's like right there, that should still work, right? No, no, never mind. That won't do anything. We're just gonna have to put some, put up some caution tape. So I feel like, I think we should just get these working. The, what are they called? The piston rotator thingies. These two will fire first and then those two will go. Then we'll need this to fire one, two, three, four, five, six times. Yeah. Also, I want to keep this like five blocks wide. One, two, three, four, five. So this won't be viable right here. So yeah, this is going to be pretty compact. Especially with having like a flying machine in it. So this will be fun. Yeah, that, that should also work because these are only going to fire when these are down. So yeah. And this won't be viable either. Yeah. That also won't work because that'll bud power that piston. So we're just going to need to put that there. Okay. So that'll be powered. And yeah. So now we need to hook these up. One, two. One, two. Oh, whoops. Okay. Well, it's fine. That'll come around with the repeater. Okay. This is gonna be pretty large. And all of the circuitry is gonna have to stay within these boundaries. So basically I'm saying this is gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> I bet I can just use one of these, like a hopper thing. And right here, there will be a, a lamp that holds that. Okay. Okay. So that'll go there. And there will be a... That will go there, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And that should work. Uh, let's stop this for a second because this got clogged up so that'll get updated and then this bottom one will also get updated cool this is actually really nice i like this nice yo got the feed tape working see it just needs six you did it guys got the feed tape working this is my first feed tape in a 
pretzel machine. No, we are going to... Door frame is gonna be here. So, yeah. We're just gonna have to put all, like, a lot of redstone underneath this. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. Well, now we just need a timing system to make it so... When this empowers, it only goes for, like, six. So 15 minus six is nine. So, so we're gonna need a one of these, which is nine. And then with the signal strength of nine, we're gonna put that right here. Then that's gonna be there. There's gonna be a comparator on subtract mode. Then right here, gonna be a lever and that should be six. Great, it's exactly what we want. Actually, no, I think we're just gonna need a signal strength of three. Uh, okay, that shouldn't affect anything. Okay, cool. Okay, let's see how, how this works. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted. So, what happened was... So I want this to be like the opposite, basically. So that's gonna be there. And then here, this will just be the system that undoes it. Then right here, there's gonna be a pulse extender that goes and it will... When it's done, it'll power this again. So that'll go there. And then once this is done, that'll power back on. And then that'll power this. That won't work though, because of timings. Wait, no, that will work. Okay, they'll need to be two ticks. Oh, let's see if this works. Will there any will there be anything that gets powered though? I don't think so. Come on. Yes! Okay, let's try again. Let's go. Come on. Yes! We did it! Dude, I never had to do like counting like this. Nice. Oh, nice, dude. This is crazy. Nice. We, I've never done something like this. So the input line is going to be on this side, right down here. So right down there, that'll be the input line. It's been an entire hour and I've done this. <laughs> so that'll be there. And on the rising edge, it, it'll open. So right here, I'm going to make the circuit that whenever this goes... Yeah. Okay. That's also going to have to be open. And uh, how am I going to do this? <laughs> and that'll just be put there. Then we're gonna want another trapdoor right there. Okay. Okay. Okay, so if we do this, let's see how this works. Nice. <laughs> this works really well. Uh, what do I do? What do I do here? Cool. Yes, we did it. So on the rising edge, there has to be a signal that goes all the way down here. And then right here will be a repeater. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh dang it. Okay, I need a small pulse extender here to like make it so this pulse extender can actually power all the way. Really quick, I'm going to- Oh no, this is not good. Oh no. Uh, wait, what? Where'd that go? There was a- what? 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 Oh no. This is not good. Oh no. There'd be a green block there. Then just that. Um, that- isn't supposed to be there. There's supposed to be that. Oh gosh, that could have actually been really bad. So I'm gonna need a pulse extender, which will go there. And then, yeah, that'll go there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I hope this works and I don't have to do that again. Yeah. Wait, oh, no, never mind. Okay, that's fine. I could have caused something. Okay. So, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Nice, <laughs> dude. <laughs> yeah, we're poggers. Uh, nice. This is awesome. Um, so this has to be fired first. So, so that, that'll go there.
Nice. And then the opening. Come on. Nice. Okay. Ooh. Now I just need to get these bottom blocks, which was powered by this. So as long as that's happening, that should be good. And then also, if anything over here is happening, then there should also be a pulse extender. Um, I think if I put a wool block there and then an observer there, uh, rails coming down here, we might have a system. Oh my gosh. Dude. <laughs> oh my gosh, that scared me so bad. Dude, yes. We did it. Yes. Oh, that was so hard. Oh my gosh. This is... <laughs> oh, this is the hardest 3x3 three three I've built ever. Dang. Wow. This is satisfying. It just like closes up and everything. This is awesome.